so welcome to my kitchen. My name is Gemma Oxton and I'm a plant-based chef. And today I'm gonna to be making for everybody at Holland and Barrett, a really, really tasty recipe that's brilliant for your gut health. So I'm sure all of you guys have heard of overnight oats. It's an absolutely brilliant breakfast. Um, and one of the reasons why I love it so much is you can prepare it the night before. So you've always got a healthy breakfast ready in the morning. So today I'm gonna to be sharing one of my beautiful overnight oat recipes with a magic ingredient. Now, this recipe is all about gut health. It's really, really important that we look after our gut and there's certain ingredients and things that you can get out there at the moment that can help keep your gut healthy, like kefir. So this recipe is gonna be kefir overnight oats. Now, I've chosen something that Holland and Barrett sell. It's a coconut water kefir. It's absolutely lovely. It's got that lovely taste of coconut in it. And although it's got a little fizz, it works brilliantly in this recipe because we're gonna be using it alongside some coconut milk as well. So I'm gonna be kind of making a tropical overnight oat recipe, which of course has got the kefir in and is gonna keep your gut healthy. So I hope you love it. So guys, first things first, what do you need for overnight oats? Now, I'm sure you've all got a big jar, jam jar knocking around your cupboard. So the great thing about making these and putting them in a jam jar is you can put the lid on and they'll keep in the fridge for a couple of days and they're all ready for you to just take when, you, when you're hungry or in the morning. So grab a jam jar or of course a Tupperware if you haven't got one. Um, and then the key ingredient of course is oats. Um, you can get gluten-free oats from Holland and Barrett as well or from lots of other places if you're gluten-free. Um, so get your oats. Then we're going to be using some chia seeds as well. Only a small amount, but chia seeds not only add lots of nutritional value um, and goodness to this dish, but they also act as a kind of setting agent. So a teaspoon of chia seeds in the overnight oat recipe will kind of set it so it's not too runny. Yeah, so chia seeds. Then I picked up a lovely tropical mix of nuts and seeds from Holland and Barrett. So we've got some banana chips, some dried pineapple, some um, papaya, and loads of seeds as well. I'm gonna put that on top to add to the texture. I've got some maple syrup to sweeten. Of course, you could use honey, you could use agar syrup, whatever your chosen sweetener is, but this one is absolutely lovely and you only need a tiny bit and it just adds to that lovely sweet taste. Um, now, I went to the fruit shop and apricots are in season, so I picked up these beautiful, gorgeous, bright orange apricots, which taste delicious, and I'm gonna chop them up and add them to my dish as well. That's not only gonna obviously add the goodness from the apricots, but it's also gonna make this dish really colorful and bright, and hopefully, yeah, it's gonna make you wanna eat it even more. Um, then we've got banana. Of course, bananas are great, they're lovely, they're tasty, they're gonna give you energy. Um, and I like to put bananas in lots of things, so we're gonna add a banana. And last but not least, we've got some, I've got some, chose some coconut almond butter, which I'm gonna put over the top, which is gonna just add to, um, obviously, the taste, and we're gonna get protein from the nuts, and it's just, this one is delicious. So I've chosen the coconut one, just so we've got a coconut theme going on, but of course, use any of your favorite nut butter. So that's it guys. Oh yeah, and you need a bowl and a spoon. So yeah, let's get making our overnight oats. So guys, what I'm gonna do, you could actually mix this straight into the jar, but because I'm gonna make a slightly bigger batch, I'm gonna use a bowl and then transfer it into the jar. So I'm gonna use about a cup of oats straight into my bowl. Fantastic. Then we are gonna do a teaspoon of chia seeds. Now with chia seeds, a little goes a long way, so you really only need a teaspoon. I'm gonna do half of this spoon, teaspoon in there. Then I'm gonna get my um, coconut water kefir, which I love this. It's got a gorgeous, gorgeous taste and the coconut really comes through. Um, so I'm gonna open this. You can get loads of other different flavors. And of course they do different types of kefir in Holland and Barrow as well. So use whichever one you want. This is great, it's made with coconuts, it's plant-based, and yeah, it's just really, really tasty. So I'm gonna put about most of the can in there, about 200 mils of coconut water, coconut kefir in there. 
and I'm going to top it up. We only need about 100 mils worth of, um, I'm using coconut milk, but please use whatever plant-based milk that, you've, that, that your preference is. I love this one. It's really rich. It's a gorgeous taste and it's my favourite. So I've got 100 mils of um, coconut water and I'm just going to give that a stir. I mean, like I said, now there is a little fizz in the kefir um, because that's what naturally happens with fermented foods. It does get a little bit fizzy, but don't worry, the oats aren't going to taste fizzy. In fact, once it settles, it's just going to, the coconut flavour will soak into the oats and it's going to be completely delicious. So now I'm going to use my maple syrup to add a little bit of sweetener. Um, it's, you only need a small amount, so about a teaspoon, but obviously go with whatever your taste preference is. Um, this maple syrup is delicious, so add that in. And of course, at this point, guys, the great thing about overnight oats, give that a good stir, is you can really add whatever you want. So if you've got a favorite, you know, superfood powder or maybe like a protein powder, of course, you can add it in at this point. I'm just going to go kind of plain, basic with my kefir and my fruit for this one. But please feel free to add your favorite Thing at this point if you'd like to. So the oats are ready guys and now we're going to start to layer up in our jar and what I mean by layer up is that I love to kind of put different types of layers so whenever you get a spoonful it's something different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my jar and I'm actually going to start with some chopped banana at the bottom because um, then you get a lovely little surprise, a spoonful of banana right at the end. So I'm going to do a couple of slices, about a quarter of the banana to cover the bottom of the jar in there. And then I'm gonna add, let's get the spoon. I'm gonna add some of my beautiful kefir coconut oats, which smell delicious. So I'm gonna pour some of them in and layer it up. Now, this is a particularly huge jar. Of course, you might wanna get a slightly smaller one. Let's give that a little wipe, so there you go. You can see my layers. Now I'm going to add some of these gorgeous chopped apricots. Now these are washed and I'm actually just going to slice them fresh into the bowl. They're so lovely and juicy because they're in season. But you know, you could, you could use anything if berries are your favourite fruit, you know, chopped strawberries. And of course, guys, if you can't get any fresh fruit, frozen fruit, fruit works brilliantly as well. You know, frozen berries, um, frozen pineapple or mango but what I really wanted to show you um, with the apricots and um, is the colour look, look at that it looks beautiful and I'm a massive believer in eating with your eyes I think if food looks colourful and bright it just somehow tastes so much better so you can see this so we've got some beautiful chopped apricots now I'm going to go in with another layer of banana of course you know you can do this how you want. But I love getting all those little surprises, including a little bit of nut butter. So I'm gonna now um, put a little bit of uh, almond butter, almond coconut butter. This is an absolutely delicious one. It's really, really yummy. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of break that up into little chunks. Oh, and put them evenly over the top of the banana. There we go. There we go. And then I'm gonna put the rest of my oats in. Now what I'm actually gonna do is keep this in the, um, keep it in the fridge overnight so it's ready for my breakfast in the morning because I, I definitely struggle in the mornings with, you know, if I'm in a hurry or I'm trying to crack on with work or I'm sorting the kids out, sometimes, you know, I just get to 10 o'clock and I realise that I haven't had breakfast. And then of course I'm really hungry and then I might just try and grab the nearest thing, which might not be the healthiest. So if I do this, it means that I'm prepared, you know, for the next day and I know that I'm gonna be able to have a quick, easy breakfast that I can take with me. So I've got the rest of the oats in. And like I was saying, I love layering up the textures and the, um, and the flavours. So I'm going to add some of my tropical nuts and seeds, which I got from Holland and Barrett. So we've got banana chips, papaya, um, dried pineapple, and the seeds just give it that crunch. There we go. 
looking good. I think we might need an extra little drizzle of maple syrup, which I'm gonna do as well. Of course, use whatever um, sweetener you love. And no, we're not even finished yet, guys. I think we need a little bit more color and a little bit more fruit. So I'm gonna get one of these beautiful apricots and just slice it. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is where you can get really creative and honestly, you could add some of your, some like coconut yogurt, that'd be delicious. You could um, uh, add a little bit of cacao. You could add a little bit of fruit compote. You know, whatever you fancy really, just get really creative. But what works really well with this particular recipe is, is of course the coconut and the tropical dried fruit, the apricot and the banana. Um, and the combination just is delicious. So here we go. Can you see? So I've got all my layers here. I've got the bits of colour. So I've got my banana, I've got my apricot, I've got my, of course, my coconut kefir oats, then my um, tropical kind of granola -y stuff and some more fruit. And I'm going to finish it off with a few more seeds. And there we go, guys. There is my gorgeous kefir coconut oats which of course is going to keep your gut really healthy and hopefully make you feel really happy in the morning when you find them in the fridge so take care and i'll see you soon